What's up, everyone? It's Tar1444. And today we're going to do a new thing I want to try. It's uh, like a story time, kind of. Just give you a little stories that have happened in my life. So today's story, I just want to start off for the first one of these I'm going to do. Is I want to just tell you guys how I got into gaming and why and all that. So I'm going to pretty much tell you my story of my life. But this is an amazing gameplay. I fucking raped. It was like 50 and... Eight or something like that, and I didn't use any kill streaks. It was special stone late, so this is a fucking amazing gameplay. So get ready. All right. So my first gaming system that got me into gaming was when I was, I think, f six years old. I got an intent or an NES system. You know, like those good old things. But I still have it actually today. I'm, I'm gonna get record it soon. It's pretty cool. But yeah, I had that old system. And I played that for probably three years straight, never stopping. But then I think my parents finally realized, because I was really good at gaming even back then. Like, not as good as now, but I was really freaking good. Wow. One second. Sorry about that. I forgot that the gameplay was split in half because the guy raged. But anyway, as it's continuing, yeah, I, I was doing really good on the NES. I mean, I completed, I think, like, 18 games. I beat every single one of them. I was just a gaming ra rapist. I think my parents really, because, like, they used to watch me, because, you know, when you're a young kid, you want your parents to see your accomplishments in gaming. So I did. I just, I showed them, and then my dad, which he actually plays games, too. Not, like, professionally as me, but he has, like, every system, and he plays... He has a little bit, a lot more money than me and whatnot. But yeah, <laughs> anyway, I, I think you've realized that. And he bought me a PlayStation 1 the next, or Christmas time that year. And I was so happy with that. I played Crash Bandicoot. That's why it's my uh, emblem for PlayStation Network. It's, my, it's Crash Bandicoot. I even have the original game still. That game is my favorite fucking game in the world. Because it is just so, like, I think I beat it, I think, seven times total. I just love that game. But then after a while of that, you know, I got bored of that, and then we upgraded to the PS2 when it came out. And then, after a few years, actually, I'm really, like, the old fat PlayStations, the big ones, that I had one of those. And it lasted forever, like, three years, way past what it should have lasted. Because, I mean, usually they just last, like, a year, you know, a half or something like that. But it lasted for three years, and it broke. I remember I was so... <laughs> I don't want to be like a little pussy here, but I was crying my eyes out because I was just like the only thing I had to do when I got home from school. I just played that game all day because I had many PlayStation 2 games. But then I remember is I got once that broke, I went and did chores for like a week for my dad, and he actually bought me. He had a PlayStation 2 also. He just let me have his because you know PlayStation 3 was already out. And you know I'm just I didn't get any of that stuff because I didn't have money. So I'm still kind of young. But then what happened is that that PlayStation I still have, actually, I play it a lot, too. I just got bored of that PlayStation after another year of playing it. And I really wanted a PlayStation 3, to be honest. But that's the day when I went and instead of a PlayStation 3, I got, I got a computer. Because, you know, like, computers were all the hip after that for me in my mind. So I bought a computer. Well, my dad bought me a computer for my birthday. And from there on, I went into PC gaming, actually. And that's where I first started Call of Duty, is my f best friend, actually. Deadly Wizard 2, or Zach, if you want to call him that. He, uh, he thought, he told me this. He said, hey, Tyler, there's this good game that you should go get. And I'm like, uh, well, I got, like, 30 bucks. I mean, is that good enough to cover it? He's like, yeah, I'll chip in if you need anything. And I actually, I went and bought Call of Duty World at War that night. I remember I sat for three hours letting that download, install, whatnot. <sighs> I played that for like probably a hundred days total. I really enjoyed it. I loved playing that game. So all of my Call of Duty experiences are thought thanks to uh, Deadly Wizard because he got me into it. Which he actually isn't a Call of Duty player anymore. He plays all the other kind of things like, you know, Battlefield and all that. But I'm not going to get a debate in between those two games. But yeah, he started me into Call of Duty. And then it really did become a passion, passion because I was freaking good at it. I mean, it was just something I was really proud of. And then I went into, uh, I bought Modern Warfare 2, like, a few months after it came out. 
and I was like, yeah, this, this game is pretty freaking slick. And then it, from there, my when uh, my computer broke, you know, I've already told this, I think, to you guys, I think, but I, my computer broke. It wasn't, uh, it was so terrible. And then I spent, I think, two months without any gaming whatsoever, so my skill level dropped for so long, I forgot about Call of Duty. My life was, I thought it was going to change forever, and I really just, my, my life at that moment was come home from school, do my homework, go to sleep, and just sleep for like six hours. And then right when it's like 12 o'clock at night, I would go back to sleep, wake up for like an hour. I'd do some, watch TV for like an hour and then go back to sleep till morning. My life was honestly terrible until I got that computer upstairs I actually repaired and got, uh, got it fixed, which is what I'm using now. Which brings into where I got my PS3 system for my... Is he online? I don't know what he's even talking about. But I got my PS3 system for my birthday last year from my father. Which I really do. He's like the reason I have gaming. So I really do love him. Thank him. All, all this goes out. He's not watching this. But but then then I thought to myself in the computer days. I wanted to start YouTube. Because I really did just want to like show off. And then get a lot of people watching my videos. So that I could have something I could be proud of. To show my mom. Cause, man, I, I'm the kid. That, I don't play much sports. I mean unless bowling is a sport. I don't play any sports. I mean I used to play football. But... I don't like touching sweaty men. No offense to any football players out there. It's I like watching football. I just don't like playing it. So I just I quit that. I was doing baseball before that when I was younger, but I had a bad incident, so I just gave up on that too. So, yeah, so I gave up my sports, and I had nothing really to be proud of about my mom. I really like to be like have something I can show off to her, and I didn't have anything, and it really it affected me. So I was like, hey, you know what, I'm going to do YouTube, just like, and maybe I'll get big. So I tried YouTube, and you know, my channel right now, it has 164 subscribers of today. Thank you guys, it's awesome. But yeah, I really did, I just wanted something to be proud of, so I did that. I started videos, but I didn't really, I couldn't do commentaries like I do now, because I just, I don't know, I was still young at the mind in PC gaming days, so I just didn't do it right. But now I bought this Dazzle, you know, and I really wanted to, to do this, and I didn't know it would be this, like, low of quality, and I need a new computer, it would look a little bit better if I had a better computer. So yeah, I mean, now I'm a complete great player, but I just have bad equipment. So yeah, so there's my gaming career right there, so far in the making, but I am getting better and better every day, and... Yeah, it just I really wanted to share that with you guys. I hope you understand all that. And watch this. Oh, oh, Tar just runs into their base. Look at this. I'm just running straight in, rampaging them. Oh, another thing I wanted to show you guys is actually if you watch Woody's Gamer Time, I, I what? Wow, I'm stuttering like a boss. I'm sorry, I'm fucking ridiculous. If you've watched Woody's Gamer Tag, yeah, he does this Tactical Tuesdays and like reviews other people sometimes too. And that really helps me too, like this gameplay, okay, I watched his new Tactical Tuesday video, and then I did this gameplay, oh my god, that's probably really loud in the speaker, but yeah, I watched that video, and then went to this gameplay, and I went 50 and freaking 8, no kill streaks. so, I think bigger YouTubes ha YouTubers have influenced my gaming career a little bit, I mean like, like they say in the video, I got hiccups, but like they say in their video, like watching other channels like them you get tips and tricks to getting better it really does help oh my god stealth bombers are loud man they're loud but i'm clutching that knife right there you're picking up the slick little kill right here but yeah so i just wanted to rephrase this or say it how woody said this too to, maybe it'll help you guys too is you gotta you gotta set up the gunfights so that you win I mean, like, if you watch most bigger YouTubers, and, like, even mine, I mean, right there, I just got really lucky, because these guys aren't the greatest, but you gotta stay behind a wall, set up your gunfights, that's how campers win, they're always behind a wall or something, like, see, they, it's a harder shot to hit, like, a pixel of your, of an enemy's head than a whole body, 
So you gotta set up your gunfight so you're behind cover all the time, but still have like a head glitching kind of position. And right here I failed to do that, so I get sniped. Just if I would've had a uh, little like head glitching setup right there, I could've got probably a mope to be honest, but... So yeah, this gameplay is wrapping up. I hope you like this commentary. I like, like, explaining my life stories. I don't know, I can commentate it way better for some reason. Oh, oh, and then there, there was a triple there, and then I just didn't shoot. <laughs> so yeah, guys, yeah, I'm gonna hopefully upload this video right after I'm done with it. But who knows, the power might go out because we are having another wild weather in our Ohio again, so who knows. But, yeah, so please hit the subscribe button in the top left corner of this video, like and favorite it, and make sure to check out tomorrow, if you look at my, like, channel feed, you'll see that there will be a uh, sniper montage, Stuck on Tar, if you guys remember that, like my original subscribers. Stuck on Tar, my series, is going to be continued on my new Sniping Clans web or channel. So if you go subscribe to that, ATU Sniping, uh, that's the channel name. So go ahead and subscribe to them too, because I'm going to be uploading there tomorrow also. So, uh, yeah, as I pick up the final kill cam right here, you have a good day. And I will see you guys later. And remember... You honestly, anyone can be a gamer. It just takes a lot of patience and time. So, yeah, good luck, everyone, and have a good day. I will see you later. 50 and 8. Yeah, buddy.